<laughs> All right, we're going to get going with it. Welcome, welcome everybody. Um, we're here on Champ Talks with your host CJ. Everybody knows who I am. Founder of Champ City, co-founder of Champ City Visuals. Um, today we have a special guest, but for those of you that are tapping in for the first time, this is something we're doing. It's just, I wouldn't call it a podcast. I'd call it like, I guess, awareness is talks. We bring topics. Chats. Yeah, I like that. Chats. Champ you know, City chats. You know, Champ City hey, chats, Champ ahead. Talks. We, we, we just elaborate okay. on, you know, cool ideas and discussion and topics that are relevant to a lot of things in society. Like, we're all kind of going through the same things at the moment, but it helps to hear someone else's side and kind of just tune in and see things from a different angle. So, here we have, this is my former rival. College, college <laughs> rivals. We played against each other. Yep. Uh, I played at UMass City Boston. Rivals. Yep, mm -hmm. City rivals. Played for Brockton. Shout out to the boxers. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna let her talk. But welcome, Jessa. Thank you. Thank you so much for right. having me. Truly, it's like I feel very flattered to to sit down and talk with you on any level. Chatting, you know, normally without um, being on the podcast and, cool. and being here too. But. Um, yeah, new in rival. I I can't believe like to picture us. Yeah, to picture us then. I don't know. Just crazy, crazy world. Time goes by fast. <laughs> yes, but um, yeah, I'm happy that we reconnected just through like ball training. Um, me getting back into the fitness world after you know my little whatever it was, a little break from any <laughs> exercise at all. Walking up the stairs was a challenge, so yeah. that's fine. Um, yeah, I just feel like we've come full, full circle, like in in friendship, in basketball again. Like, I don't know that, I told you mad times, that just brought me like a lot of joy. And being able to get back to that with you was like, full, like it literally completed, you know what I mean? That Ooh, little, that that little dope, gap, so that was dope. Right? I think that's mainly the culture that Champ City provides. Totally. It's, we want to make sure that everybody, it, it's more than athletics. I think that's a short statement mm -hmm. as to how I could put it. Mm -hmm. It's beyond basketball. You know, it's beyond sports. And that's why we have these discussions because a lot of people go through a lot of things, like I say, but no one's really listening. So when people come here, it's relevant to topics that are not just sports related. It's there's yeah. real life things going mm -hmm. on. It, there's reality behind everything that we do so we just create awareness and like I said so we're gonna get into it all right so we're gonna talk about basketball Jessa mm -hmm. what role has that played in your life because I know basketball is significant but what sports in general that's something that you know Champ City's about so right. let's talk to talk to us about how you know sports played a role in your life yeah um, good question cuz I feel like even though um, basketball and competing and you know the practices the waking up early isn't constantly still in my life it like shaped me yeah. into you know how I wake up in the morning to go to work or how I wake up to go to a workout or whatever it is um so yeah definitely let's talk about this one because I would have very minimal structure in my life yeah. <laughs> like I know myself really well right I can mm -hmm. kind of self-reflect I would be late to everything for sure because mm -hmm. you know the golden rule if you're not early you're late mm -hmm. and I still struggle with that one but we're working on it um like my core values and like how I respect a coach reflected in how I respect my boss reflected in how I respect my parents or you know what I mean so yeah not just sports i think we all know that and can all like openly talk about that and how you know it brought us some people out of struggle like i mm -hmm. used to want to go to the gym when i'm like in a fight with blah blah whatever yeah. it is so yeah definitely shapes not just me all of us all the teammates i had just better people for sure that's i can agree because that provided structure for me going through just anything sports was like jobs i was able to be on a, in a good teammate yeah. I, was, I was able to be everything right, like for sure. a leader like yeah. communicate like sports mm -hmm. offers like i don't know there's a lot of components that i feel bad for people that aren't engaged in some type of group activity for because sure. there's a lot of interpersonal skills that we learn just reflecting yep. on 
the thing that interactions and the experiences like you know it's a bit different but you can't force people obviously so <laughs> you know it is what it is so let's talk about the culture of basketball because i think from when we played um whether it be high school and college till now um there's been a lot of change in you know just the culture of basketball so we can talk about this from kind of like a past view you can kind of give people a background about where you played and mm -hmm. you can kind of you know talk about it briefly okay let's start with the past yeah um well, Newton Metro West is where it all started with yeah. my <laughs> thick orange headband repping <laughs> Newton, but um, <laughs> way too many embarrassing pictures. I actually should show you that. Um, uh, let's see, Newton South, that was, I feel like, my peak. I feel like mm -hmm. all my little Newton South little squad teammates would totally agree. We go ahead, that, go ahead, yeah. shout out, shout out, go ahead. <laughs> Maybe not Kayla, she shined through. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was like a such a cool part of my life like mm -hmm. I I'm sure we can kind of all agree around that high school age or like who am I who are my friends who are my mm -hmm. friends gonna be like I don't know and they formed that for me like I that was when I was playing ball all the time clinic after clinic like double sessions whatever it was mm -hmm. and yeah I mean go right back to the last question like it makes you who you are you surround yourself yes. with like-minded people like yes. it yeah it just all kind of rolls out from there um yeah yeah that one's deep because I think when we played it was more about like today's culture for me mm. is like flashy and trendy mm. and one man for themselves rather than team mm. you know like like we were talking about earlier you know people in the locker room like no one really wants to get after it like no one you can't get buck with people like yeah, it's yeah. just a different environment and atmosphere it's like i don't know yeah I don't, yeah there's a difference in what we're seeing today yeah but then you could talk about today no nah, like, for sure so i would say in terms of like basketball world that like aggressive tenacity of mm -hmm. like the go get it attitude that like was infectious right it's yes. not just coming from one person it's not just coming from the two leaders or the two lead scorers or whatever it may be like exactly. it's like a like i don't know it's like a venom mm -hmm. and the only people that like i like looked up to so to speak or that reflected that was like kevin garnett tough. and you know what i mean the big three and like tough i feel like my attitude in college at least maybe not so much high school was that like go get it let me spread my like infectious whatever i have to mm -hmm. you guys and you give it back to me and that's just important in any culture but like you yes. learn that from you know what i mean these stars and then i don't know i just no one's doing that for me right now mm -hmm. so maybe you know i'm a little jaded on on how the culture's changed in that way but that was big for me in yes. you know years ago what was it 10 like i don't even know yeah <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> it seems so far because right. we are getting older but that kind of brings me to the next question so what lessons and skills has sports like taught you like you kind of went into kind of like generally speaking being like a great teammate a mm -hmm. go-getter like those are some things but now let's talk about the lessons that you've learned from now being a part of whatever team you've played on mm -hmm. so there's transitions obviously when you're younger the AAU into high school right. to college what are some even just training now like mm -hmm. there's small lessons and things that I think what would you like to give the people yeah um another good question like a mm -hmm. loaded question i could give you however you want <laughs> yeah because there's a All lot the to angles. it but there's a lot of angles that i feel like you know not everyone has the same view right so it, wherever you would bring that to i think that'd be ideal just to give everybody an expansion yeah so go i for mean it. I, I, I definitely do. want to touch on surrounding yourself with like-minded people mm -hmm. because I would say probably we were talking like I don't have you know that one person or that those couple of people that were like super influential in my life exactly <clears throat> excuse me and I feel like my people were like my friends and you know who I knew since kindergarten to who I met and like weeded out through even middle school high school college days and I feel like those that camaraderie that being an athlete brings it's as if you're surrounding yourself with people that 
usually align with your morals, your values, and in turn, I mean, you learn from that. Like naturally, those are those experiences that we always talk about that like you don't, it, cha it changes people, right? Someone has X, Y, and Z experiences with their basketball club versus someone mm -hmm. who's, you know, I don't know, has a completely different experience in tennis, whatever it may be, but yeah. no matter what, it's that like togetherness that mm -hmm. comes back to it and you have that almost like support in your life mm -hmm. and it allows you to then kind of branch out, do other things, et cetera, hang exactly. out with look like other people, find out for yourself, like, okay, are my is my basketball crew good for me or do I want to hang with this crowd? I don't know. It's just like, honestly, in la lack of better, like in short, growing up, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. I think, yeah, that provides structure. It goes back yeah. to what you said earlier. It's like, the structure that everything that's why everything I believe is life lesson that's why uh -huh. I asked the question like there's yeah. skills and lessons we learn through experience totally. and some of us we like to kind of overthink or not pay no mind to the certain lessons that we go through mm -hmm. so that's why when you said it's a loaded question for some people it may be a simple question yeah so you may give them an expansion of oh okay I can see it like that mm -hmm. so it's always good like we said that's what totally. Champ Talk does it gives opportunity for different angles so I'm just going to go into name your top five. Let's go top five influential people, you okay. know, in your life. Like what they made Jessa who Jessa is whole. Yeah. Or you can, you can give me three, you can give me five. I was going to say, I don't know if I have five. Go but, for it. Yeah. Um, definitely my family. So I would say, I mean, three immediate family members, mom, dad, brother. Mm -hmm. Um for sure. I mean, we all have our demons, right? We don't have to talk Absolutely. about it on the podcast, but no, facts. we just go through shit, and yeah. I hope I'm allowed to swear. Yeah, you... <laughs> <laughs> if you're a child, you came out. you're fine. Sorry. No. And, <laughs> yeah, and you learn from each other, and yeah. it, like, it literally is all the same for me, almost. Like, you learn through experience, um, through hardship, you know, yes. whatever, yes. whatever kind of crosses your path, you, it forms you. So, I would say definitely my family. <laughs> um, yeah, I agree. I friends agree. are up there, you know. Mm -hmm. We could go through the shout out list, but they know who they are. And yes. other than that, like, sports wise is the obvious. Like we were talking about, a Allen Iverson, like mm -hmm. just that. Don't give a F attitude. <laughs> as you should, as you should. Um, yeah, that was huge for me in basketball. I'm sure you can remember it was annoying playing me. That's all. That's yeah, the only thing. Yeah, you was Whenever like that. I she was the AI, bro. Again, they're like, oh, you're annoying to play against. Bro, you was a pest. And it's like, no, but you I had know. the IQ. <laughs> nah, it's a, it's a good thing because at that stage, that competitiveness is like, it's needed. That's what I'm saying. That's what we had. We and I was like, like skinny, lanky. Like you know? I needed something. You know, everyone needs their little niche. Like, but now people I was just annoying. like, I mean, <laughs> but, but it was competitive. Everybody gave people their props. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was good. It was a good environment. Yeah. So someone like an AI, we said KG, just that like mm -hmm. infectious leaders. Yeah, leaders. It doesn't get better than that. Leadership. The yeah. way he was relentlessly working. Totally. You know, that work ethic made him legendary. Yeah. And I think that people think that you have to do the utmost mm -hmm. to be legendary. No, do your role. Do mm -hmm. your part. If you can and do be that. be yourself. Like, he was yeah. so organically so authentic. him all the time. Authentic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out to KG. KG <laughs> right. If you ever see this, KG, <laughs> we're shouting you out heavy, bro. I hope you know that. I love that. Thanks, right? So <laughs> if you ever. We're going to do some closeout remarks, but oh. I want you to give a couple things. So my last two questions are more towards the community of people just watching and that want to just get to know yeah. a little bit about your insight and things like that. So... Let's kind of go for the younger ones. Mm -hmm. What are some things you can contribute to the younger individuals that are going through society today? Mm, tough one. Or growing up in this society. Yeah. Um, I think my biggest thing was... I don't feel like I found myself too late, but it's really, really important to like have those soul searching moments with yourself as soon as your like brain allows you to, if yes. that makes sense. It does. Like you have to really, really know who you are and be confident in who you are as mm -hmm. soon as you can. Exactly. And 
it's obviously easier flowing out of my mouth than it is acting on it, but man, if I, even in the beginning of college, you know, if I, like, felt like I was more grounded in who I really was, mm -hmm. oof, I would have got a degree in something different, I would have maybe had different, like, I don't know, it just, yeah, I think that is so important and, and ultimately shapes who you are, and it's only a matter of, are you going to figure it out at 30 or 35, or are you going to figure true. it out at 16 and 18? That's true. And, yeah, I think that's huge, just to, like, don't, don't look past the idea of, like, soul searching yeah. and like finding out your real hobbies trying things new like actually do it don't just talk mm -hmm. about it and say it with your friends i want to go to the belly dancing class like go try it yeah literally that's one example but for real yeah no understood it's so important that's a i think that's really a universal lesson mm. you know even if the young ones that are going through this even just know that people like 25 i'm gonna admit it you have to go through what you're going through yeah. in order to know what's right, what's wrong, mm -hmm. what's for you, like how you want to present yourself. It's about being strong and confident. Yeah. And when people come on, I don't know, talk, podcast, this is just a moment for people to be who they are, mm -hmm. have a voice so that, you know, other people that are just watching may just feel some type of connection, you know. Somebody may go through the same thing. Like, it's always okay, you know, you can... Mm. talk freely be who you want to be and you know that's what's needed more of so that's another part of what champ Doc, champ talks does is the awareness piece so let's that's close out way. you know i i want to close out with let's let's go with like the older generation like i'm gonna go with college athletes 18 year old transition into adulthood um young adulthood even yeah. some people in their 30s may need to hear <laughs> you know because sometimes you know age is nothing but a number mm -hmm. sometimes the wisdom lacks so give me something we can address kind of like to the society what can they do better how can mm -hmm. we hold them accountable so that we can lead a better generation mm -hmm. talking like our age and older what can we do yeah i wish that my words held more weight but respect I think goes underlooked and I think that emotions take over sometimes for a lot of people and we lack that just like almost like common sense respect mm. and it's lacking you know what I mean I like in so many areas that it's like a trickle effect like people are so hypersensitive for good reason, right? Yeah. And if we lose that like consciousness of like actively trying to be respectful towards people, yeah. that's where we start to kind of lose ourselves and, and lose each other, honestly. Yeah. Um, I just think in, in sensitive times, in, in some cases insensitive times, mm -hmm. for some people just, respect each other and kindness and I feel like it's like oh yeah we can all say that right but exactly. it's true they're two heavy things that we're not doing enough of as like a collective unit so there's got to be some type of change and mm -hmm. I think that's what this movement right here is going to do that's what champ city is champ city is change there has to be a change in how we talk to people yeah. how we respond like how we control what we do we can only control what we can control so stop trying to control somebody else and like, like open conversation about it too like yes. i always tell my friends like open dialogue yeah. there's nothing better than that when you don't feel like you're arguing when you don't feel like there's judgment when you it's just like a fluid Pretty you fun. know back and forth two opinions conversation and yes. it's not complex it's just yeah that's the conversations we be having. Right. Yeah, we be having free flow oh, conversations. Absolutely. And that's what the the trio. Yeah. Every time we converse, it's more like the trio's leash the beast. Yeah, we do like <laughs> leash no. the beast. It like becomes like camera. therapeutic. You know what I mean? Yes. It becomes that like Tell safe you. area that mm -hmm. I could tell you about I hurt my left toe or mm -hmm. whatever. I don't know, politics, right. something with more meat. So right, right. it needs to the the respect, I think, in that area is key. It's yeah. respecting one's opinion, but understanding that 
words have leverage also mm. at the end of the day so choose your words wisely yeah. because even if you're conversing with someone and you think you're yeah. helping them you really need to help them don't sit here and you know allow them to no there's yeah. gotta be some type of accountability so for for those people out here that feel like you know you don't have nobody just listen just you know take it amongst yourself to make that a priority this mm. year find friends that are willing to listen find people willing to you know give you good feedback and mm. want to uplift your spirit and your soul like you know there's so there's important. no more hate there's yeah. no there can't be no more you can't envy the next person it just can't happen mm -hmm. uplift build and that's unity that's that's all the philosophy is if unity can continue to happen i can tell you people will prosper things will prosper mm -hmm. everybody prospers so thank you for it's tapping really in great. with us i appreciate it jessa oh that, awesome, right? yes. that was awesome right that was awesome i appreciate awesome. it no like um we look forward to you know seeing some of the stuff on uh, Champ City. We got okay, go check it out. Follow <laughs> at Champ City, Champ City with three Y's at the end. Okay, we're well, on Twitter. And do you want? I don't know if you want to give me at name. That's on you. Jessa Rivera. Go it's ahead. Just the full name. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll see you soon in the next one. Thank you. Thank you.